genetic glitch, the 21st century taboo. We come from an era where HIV was treated as a social outcast. How many of us did not even let us let an HIV person stand near us in the fear of communicability? All this changed when we attained the knowledge for it. One such taboo that exists in our mind today is about genetic syndromes. How many of us, when we walk on the road, give a demeaning look to a short-heighted person with small arms and legs? Who are we to regard them as social outcasts? Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, achondroplasia, these are just few of the genetic syndromes to be named. In recent news, we came across a situation where a child born with spinal muscular atrophy required an injection worth 18 crores for his treatment. The whole country no doubtedly raised the money for it and treated that child. But we didn't know that science did not have an answer then but today we do towards treating or towards preventing such mishaps. Yes my friends, a couple with SMA can give birth to a normal child today. A couple with Down syndrome or a Kleinfelter's male can give birth to a normal child today. Yes, that's true. All that needs to be done is a pre-implantation genetic testing to find out as to which embryo carries those defective genes and those can be segregated from normal embryos and the normal embryos can be implanted into the uterus of a woman. This does not require IVF in all cases. Even normal pregnancy can be done in the same way. To summarize, if anyone you know has Down syndrome or any genetic syndrome for that matter, please tell them that it can be eliminated from their genes and their future generation would never have it. To conclude, let me tell you, as a doctor, the two most common words that I've ever heard in my life are fear and uncertainty. But the word that replaces all of them is just ignorance. One such place where an answer to all of this can be found is Kraft Hospital. So just step into Kraft and you will find an answer. Thank you.